Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding the slope between two points using rise over run. So we have the problem find the slope between the following pairs of points and let's start by finding the slope between negative 1, negative 1 and 2, 3. So we're going to use this interpretation of slope, that slope is equal to the rise over run. The formula for slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. But notice how that change in the y coordinates corresponds to a rise because as we change the y coordinates we're rising up and down in a vertical direction while the run corresponds to a change in the x coordinates which would be a horizontal run. So we're going to use this concept. We start by plotting the point negative 1, negative 1 and we're also going to plot the point 2, 3. So we're going to the right 2 and up 3. So now using this concept of rise over run we could find the slope between these two points by counting the rise. So we're going to start at this point here at negative 1, negative 1 and we're going to rise 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're rising 4 and we're going to run 1, 2, 3. So altogether we rised 4 and we ran 1, 2, 3. So this tells us that the slope between the point negative 1, negative 1 and 2, 3 is simply we have m equals 4 over 3. We're comparing the rise to the run. So this would be our answer to the first problem. So now we're going to use this concept again except now we're finding the slope between we're going to plot negative 2, 1. So we're going to go to the left 2 and up 1. And next we're going to plot the point 3, negative 1. So we're going to the right 3, 1, 2, 3, and we're going down 1. So now to find the slope between these two points, once again we're going to use this concept of rise over run. So now how much do we need to rise? Well, we need to rise 1, 2, but notice how we're dropping down. We're not rising up. So that means we're rising 2 in the negative direction. So we're rising negative 2, and we're going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have a run of 5. So our slope between the points negative 2, 1 and 3, negative 1 is simply m equals negative 2 over 5. So this graphical approach to finding slope is definitely somewhat simpler than using the equation and it uses more of the concept of slope that we're finding the rise over run, but these would be our two answers to the questions find the slope between the following pairs of points. We have a slope of four thirds and a slope of negative two fifths. Okay, well this is going to conclude this slope video. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.